guys, how we doing today? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please like and subscribe. If you're a returning visitor, glad to have you back. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different, video I've never done before, and it's going to be my August favorites. Mostly makeup, some skincare, and perfume. So I'm just going to pull stuff. I got my baggie of what I've been using in August, and I'm just going to pull it out and tell you a little bit about each product. A lot of it you've probably seen before, so let's just get started. The first thing that I have in here is this perfume. It's called Decadent Dance, and I found this at TJ Maxx, and I believe it's their brand, because the bottom says TJ Maxx Decadent Dance um, by True Fragrance, and it was on clearance there. It was marked down to 10, and I this is, it, it smells a lot like um, pink sugar, but it smells so good, I had to pick it up. And I actually bought another perfume there too, which uh, I'm gonna start using, but this one is great. Um, but yeah, for 10 bucks, and it is 3.4 ounces, it is a great perfume if you ever have the chance to pick it up. The next thing I have in here is, um, this is K Voss Macaron Lip Balm. And I got this, I believe, in my Ipsy last month, or I think it was Ipsy for August. And I've been using it, every, like, every day. Um, I'll just, when I get up in the morning, I get out of the shower, I put this on and start doing my face, and I leave this on my lips, like, through the day. It is, it, it doesn't have a real scent or smell. It's got, like, just a little scent to it, but not very much. But that was a good, I, I really like that from my Ipsy bag. It's one of my favorite things I've gotten. Um, let's see. I was going to try and go through what I do like every day in step order, but I don't know if I can or not. Um, this is another thing I've been using ev every day. It's the Paracone MD Deep Crease Serum. I got this from Influencer, and I don't I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Influencer, but they sent me this to review and to try. Um, this serum is $189, and again, it's the uh, Deep Crease Serum. I put this on every day after my shower and um, to try and get rid of some of these fine lines and wrinkles, you know, because uh, I turn 44 in a few days, so got to work on the deep crease. So I've used that every morning. And then after I use that and let it sit in, I use this. I've been using this for months, guys. Um, now, I was using the Juice Beauty uh, Beauty Oil. Um, and I switched over to this. It's a Physician's Formula Organic Wear Bright Booster Oil Elixir. And I put that on every day before my makeup after the Paracone MD. The next thing I use on my face, and guys, if you have never tried this, this is like a holy grail of mine. I saw... One of the girls on um, YouTube using this. It's a Master Blur Stick Primer. Pore Minimizing Primer. They have it in this shade, which is light medium. And then there is a darker shade, too. And it looks like this. It's like a, almost like a, their stick foundations. I, I would never go a day using makeup without using this ever again. It literally blurs out your whole entire face. It's, it's pretty amazing. Now, I've had my makeup on for hours, so I don't look too great right now. But... Uh, highly recommend this. I would, I actually have backups of this just to make sure I never run out of it. The next thing I use all the time is this. I use this for foundation. It's the It CC Illumination Your Skin the Better Full Coverage Cream with SPF 50. And I am in the shade, I believe this is probably medium. Um, so I really like, and you can tell I've been using, <laughs> this is in my makeup drawer. Look how beat up, beat up it is. Um, now, I usually don't buy anything that illuminates, but I've been using this just to see, and I do like it. And I don't have a powder in here um, because I've just been using, like, a, a regular kind of Clinique, uh, I think it's Clinique, a Clinique face loose powder. So, you know, I didn't really think it was that, you know, intense to show you. And then this is, look at this thing. You can tell that's been in my drawer forever, too. I use this for my brows. It's the Brow Sculpt Stylist in Blonde from L'Oreal. Um, I'm not real picky on my brows because I just kind of like fill them in more than anything. I don't really like do too much with my brows. I pretty much just fill them in. So I just use that pencil. Um, the other thing that's another holy grail of mine is this high brow by Benefit. Um, and I think it's just like, it's like a light pink. I put it right under my brows just to highlight them. And I really, really like it. I've been using this a very long time. Let me see if, I'm trying to see if there's a color on here. I don't see one, but it just says creamy brow highlighting pencil. I was thinking they had like two different colors of these, but 
yeah, use that every single day. The other thing I use every single day, and sorry guys, some of this is dirty because it's on my makeup um, stand every day. I use this two-in-one eyeshadow primer from Essence. I have two colors of this. This is the nude rose, and I have a nude beige. I bought these for half off whenever they had a half off sale, um, and I just put this all over my eyelid before I put my eyeshadows on. Um, now, it says it's an eyeshadow and primer, long-lasting, brightening. Um, I wouldn't call this a, an eyeshadow. I would definitely say it's a primer. It's a lot like the NYX primer that comes in a pot like this, because um, it doesn't it it, ju it doesn't really give much color. It just brightens up your eyelid area. So I do use that before I put eyeshadows down. Oh, the other skincare thing I've been using, I got this in BoxyCharm. Look how much I've used, guys. <laughs> That's the, pore, it's called Needles No More, No More Baggage by Dr. Brandt Cream for your under eyes. Um, so I do use that every once in a while. Now I haven't been using, I, I either use this or this really heavy kind of under my eyes. Um, but I do use this on quite a bit of occasion, depending on how puffy my eyes are in the morning. Let's see, there's some these. Let me go, oh, you guys are going to laugh at this one too. I had this little Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. It's the medium deep one. Um, look how much I've used it. I've even worn it off. This was like a little sample. I think I got in maybe a boxy charmer ipsy. And like, guys, I am like super hit and pan on that. Like, look. <laughs> look at that so yeah I'm trying to finish that up and I'm just about finished with that so I use that just to warm up my whole entire face and my cheeks every day and here's another one I'm hitting pan on I use this Laura Geller blush and this is the berry trifle one baked blush and you can tell I use it all the time I'm hitting pan Laura Geller products whenever you start seeing that waffle design that's how you know you've hit pan on those and I have three eyeshadow palettes that I've been using over the last month like super heavy the first one is this L'Oreal Paradise one, and I think I showed this um, in a haul video. I love this palette. It smells like peach. The shades are great in here. Um, they're very blendable. They're very pigmented. I highly recommend this. The other one I've been using a lot is, this is the Tarte Love Trust and Fairy Dust palette. I love the case on it. <clears throat> It's got a really nice mirror on the inside, and then here are the shades on that, and that's what I wore today. I hope you can see the shades really well. This middle is like a highlighter. There's some pinks. Uh, there's like brown shades. There's mauve and purple shades there. That's probably a better picture of the colors on there, but I just think it's like super pretty, and it smells real. It's like, like got that vanilla tart smell to it. It's just really super pretty. The last palette I've been using quite often is this Aspen Ovard Tarte Eye and Cheek palette. Um, I actually have three of these. I'm not even kidding. I have three. I keep two backups in this one. Um, the reason I bought another one was because I had actually dropped this one. And this has a really nice big mirror too. But as you see, I dropped it and this one fell out and just shattered. I couldn't even repress it. But this is a really nice palette. Um, it's got like, this is a cheek color. There's a highlighter. And then you get these eyeshadows. I wish I could get a better picture of those eyeshadows. They're there. Maybe that's a good one. Like this one and this one are very shimmery and there's a couple mattes and shimmer. They're just really beautiful eye palette. I highly suggest getting this if you can too. I really like it. Like I said, I have two backups for that one because I like it so much. But And then a couple last but not least. Um, this is the mascara I completely adore. It's my Holy Grail mascara, the Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. I've bought it several times. It's a lot like the Better Than Sex mascara. If you like Better Than Sex mascara, you will love this. It's pretty much, it, it's very similar to the Better Than Sex. Love that. And then for lippies, I've been using these quite, quite often. Um, these are the NYX Soft Matte Creams. I love these. And these are my three favorite colors. Um, this one is Toulouse, I think is how you say it. It's like a brownish color. This one also like a brownish color. I'm not even sure. I think, I'm not even sure what color that is. The camera cut out on me. I ran out of space, but this is my last item anyways. It's these NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. I was going through the colors, but I'm missing a label on one. Um, this one is Montreal. It's got like a pink, kind of pinkish hue to it. Oops, and these other two are more kind of like a brown, brownish shade, all pretty much nudes, but I use those almost every single day, and I absolutely love them. I love the formula, I love the color, and they just feel really nice on the lips, so 
those are my August favorites, and um, so that was it. I just want to share them all with you and hope you try some of those products out. Hope you guys are having a great day. Thanks for watching. Thank you.